back. Um, I'm the session chair uh, of the first session for the afternoon, um, the, which is actually another uh, keynote speech session. Uh, my name is Lusu. I'm assistant professor of the CIC department uh, of UB. So it's my great pleasure uh, to introduce our second keynote speaker, uh, Professor Jian Hei from Simon Fraser University. Uh, actually, so Professor Hei is actually a uh, former faculty of our department, as well as many of you are very familiar with him. Um, Professor Pei currently is a Canada Research Chair in Big Data Science and Professor in the School of Computing Science at Simon Fraser University. He is also the Chief AI Scientist and the uh, Technical VP of Huawei Technologies. Uh, his research is mainly on data mining. And Professor uh, Pei is one of the most cited authors in the data mining and the database area, with an overall citation of more than uh, 74,000 and the H index of uh, 75. Uh, Professor Pei is actually a uh, recipient of several pre prestigious awards, such as the ECM <coughs> KDD Innovation Award, the actual ECDM Research Contribution Award, and the ECM CKD Service Award. Uh, Professor Pei is currently the chair of the ACM CKDD Special Interest Group and he is a fellow of ACM and HOE. So please join me to welcome Professor Pei. Professor, so really enjoy the days here and uh, working with uh, many uh, people here. They, they did uh, taught me a lot, uh, which are uh, really useful for my career development. So thank you very much. Um, so today I probably uh, will just give a um, very uh, general uh, review introduction on some of the things we've done. Um, well, we, we all know recently. Uh, AI is very disruptive. Uh, you know, uh, we have been very really impressed by um, several uh, you know, phenomena and things done by AI, such as uh, playing uh, you know, uh, ball games and even people use uh, AI technologies to do all kinds of uh, you know, interesting things. But uh, from the, uh, more from the intellectual point of view, uh, we still think AI should be the goal, uh, should be the tools. So um, AI uh, technologies and AI tools uh, are well defined uh, by human being in terms of functions. So uh, why we need the AI tools? Essentially, we want to have something stronger, more robust, uh, faster, and also um, uh, most importantly is that we want to have something working in uh, some extreme and um, dangerous environments. So, um, well, why some people uh, sort of like um, scared by the AI, but uh, in general, um, having AI in my personal view is just um, uh, some, something that knowledge to uh, having, the, uh, say, uh, re uh, reverse of uh, speed. Uh, in the old days, when we first had the train, had the mechanical uh, vehicle, uh, people are also scared about how uh, the speed it is. But as you can see now, with the um, you know new um, form of speed, indeed we can enjoy it more, and we can have all kinds of competition. Yeah, not only uh, the people still having the uh, you know um, uh, race in uh, Olympic games, but also have the um, car race to uh, you know uh, take advantage, take fun of the, um, the machines. Okay. So one interesting remain indeed is how we can turn uh, AI techniques into AI tools. Well, it is very really attractive to uh, uh, use AI and machining techniques to solve um, uh, technical problems, such as uh, we heard uh, everyday like image 
classification, classification, and all the things. But the critical uh, one critical thing from um, business uh, problems challenges is that where the technical problems can come from, okay, and uh, how the technical solutions can be used. Those are indeed more important and more uh, uh, practical um, issues in uh, industry and applications. Uh, so for the AI or uh, for the uh, data science applications, indeed it has, a, uh, it has to go through a long way. And this is uh, one example, uh, one, of our, uh, one of my PhD students. And she, uh, in 2009, we did a lot, set of studies on what we call early prediction on time series.